Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I wanted to do a review of the stamp and stick glue pad and I got this from Blitzy I think last week. Um, I picked up the actual stamp pad which is the glue but it's in black and I got the refill just in case because there it was available at the same time so I thought I'd get to them. So um, the instructions show or say that it is, let's see, black stamp and sti stick glue pad, a black tinted heat activated adhesive solution for applying glitter, accent powders, metal leaf, and chalks to stamped images. Create dynamic effects on coated paper, especially white and non porous surfaces. So, for presentation purpose, I'm going to use this photo paper because it's not porous. I did try it on porous surfaces and definitely does not work the same. To use ink stamp with palette stamp and stick glue, impress on coated surface, heat image to activate, apply glitter, powders, or metal leaf, press into image, tap off excess to use small brush or use a small brush to clean up leafing. And I have a brush already for that. Uh, cosmetic sponge will clean up any residue, acid-free, archival, and water-based for easy cleanup, raised pad surface, inks, any size stamp. And it's from stewardsuperior.com. Let's see if it focuses. Huh. Hold on. There you go. stewardsuperior.com. And I'm sorry if you didn't see all of that. My autofocus has been acting wonky. So let me show you some of the examples that I did the other day on Ustream. This is this gorgeous um, stamp from Stamper's Best of uh, the Seahorse. And it's very, very detailed, as you can see. A little dirty, but very detailed. Uh, there you go. And I stamped it with the uh, glue, and then I flocked it. And the flock that I used is this doodlebug black beetle, beetle black, which this was not heat set, this was heat set, so you can see the definition is much greater. The glitter I wasn't too fond of, and the, I did use fine art glitter, just to make sure that it was the really fine, ultra fine art glitter, come on. Am I holding it too close? Ultra fine art glitter. And I was not very impressed with the glitter. The flacking was nice. Um, but my favorite by far is the foil. So this is like the um, gold and silver foil, but I actually have a stash of aluminum foil from the 50s. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That's the one I'm going to demo right now. And it's just gorgeous. Like it's totally stuck down and the image is beautiful. So let me sh put those aside and show you. And I'm going to use this crown stamp also from Stamper's Best. So um, again, non-porous surfaces. So this is photo paper, but you could use glossy paper. And I'm going to take and the ink pad itself, you'll notice I had mine out overnight and it seemed to have, um, there's some condensation on the inside and all I did is just wipe it out with my paper towel. So that's, that's nothing to be concerned about. So I'm going to take my stamp to the stamp pad and you'll see initially it doesn't look like much is Put going on there and I have not yet re-inked it or more added more glue but now you'll start to see more of the image more of the coverage and I'm just doing tap motion I find that works the best all over so you'll see when it stamps down that it really does have good coverage so I'm just gonna Place it over here, press, and you'll see, you could see the actual image. So what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to push this aside so I can have some room to work, 
And for those of you who do uh, metal leafing, you know that um, you'll need the is it horse hair, boar's hair brush, not horse hair, fine brush. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this image right underneath because it's so fine, it'll, it could tear. What you're supposed to be able to do is lift it with the brush, but I'm being kind of lazy. So I'm going to place it right over the stamped image and then pull it back because I could save some of this for a later use. Let me just grab a paper towel because last time I got lots and lots of um, leaf all over my desk and because it's so thin it's sometimes difficult to clean up. So I'm just going to place it and you can, whatever your craft mat is. So I want to make sure that the entire image has some of the foil on it. And I see there's a piece that doesn't. So I'm just going to press this on with my brush and then move it off with the brush, just in a rotating motion. You'll see it. So I'm going to save all of this for another use. There's a couple of pieces that could be reapplied. Oh, you know what I did? Actually, that's good. So now you see the difference. I forgot to heat set it. I think what I'm going to need to do is put a big old message to myself on the ink pad to heat set it. So let's clean. And I'm going to leave this in. I'm not even going to edit this out because that's how I learn. Well, that's how anybody learns. Sometimes you learn through mistakes. So I'm going to turn my heat gun on while I stamp this to heat it up. You don't want to put the gun too close. So see these all come in useful. And now you'll see the difference between heat set and not. I think this is called burnishing. And I'm using the same brush. Which I think there's different brushes you could use. But the effect is really lovely. Hopefully if my camera focuses, you'll see the effect. I think what it's doing is focusing on the shine. So you see it this this does kind of go everywhere so for cleanup. But um here's the images I did of the seahorses. And they're on there. I mean I'd have to like scrape scrape to get them off. It's a nice effect. 
So I would say the ink pad, because I got it on sale or on special through Blitzy, was a very reasonable price. I think it was four, four ninety five, and then the reinker was two ninety nine. So it's a nice, and there's no way that I would have been able to add glue in the right places to do this with even uh, glue pen. So it's a nice option. Uh, the previous glue pads that I've used, I have not seen this kind of result, this kind of favorable result, so I'm quite happy with that. So this gets a, a good pass from my review, from my experience. And again, I wish there was a way for me not to get the glare. What I'll do is I'll take some photographs, close-up photographs, and I'll put them on my blog. I'll include a link in the description to my blog, as well as to my referral link to Blitzy. On the off chance that they repost um, this palette stamp and stick glue pad, which I'm quite happy with. So if you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.